So as we're weaving and I'm finishing up, I have one more round to go. Your um, dream catcher is um, a woven web, kind of like a spider's web, and it protects the child's innocence and keeps them from having bad dreams. But you have to have a center where um, the good dreams can come through. And um, we want to have um, good dreams and think about positive things and all of these things are things that you want to put in while you're doing your dream catcher. So you want to be thoughtful of those positive things as you're making your dream catcher. It's getting tight. If you want, you can skip the bunny ear and just use your tip. And it's still the same stitch, but you just are foregoing the bunny ear. So you go over, under, and then just pull it through your loop without having your bunny ear. And sometimes down at the very end, that's a little easier is to use that. The bunny ear is much easier at the beginning because it gives you um, some structure to pulling it through and you don't have such a long string or piece of sinew um, to work with. And now I'm going to um, make my knot. And I believe in um, a few knots to be knotted. Where I made my last stitch, I'm just going to do that same sort of over, under, and through the loop right on top of it and it's going to sort of lock it into place because now there's more than one. So I'm, it's like a slip knot, um, but I've done two and I'm, I kind of like three knots. I'm a three knot person. I feel that it keeps things safe and in, in its place. You have some string left over here and I always like to do a little adornment for that. So I'm going to put um, a few beads on and just make a little um, piece of adornment here. Um, you could add a small feather. On such a small dream catcher, you want to use little tiny feathers. Um, otherwise, it gets overwhelmed. Now, make a knot around this string here that I came up. And slide it through. So I've made one knot there. And, and um, I'm going to do two. I won't do three this time since I already did three before, but this is just to make sure our beads stay put. I'm going to just go around and I'm doing a basic slip knot, sliding around and sliding it through. And the reason why I did what I did with the beads is because see when I go back, I can go right through that first bead again before I cut. Um, I, d I tend not to like to cut right where I've made my knot. And so this allows me to go back through that first bead and then I can snip it. I could go through more, but I don't have to. So Winnie and Nug Kwamawank, good dreams. Thanks for watching. This podcast series is presented by Tomaclog Museum. Visit our website at www.tomaclogmuseum.org. Tomaclog Arts programs are sponsored by Amica Insurance. Auto, home, life, Amica. The Indigenous Artways podcast is funded in part by the Rhode Island State Council of the Arts. Investment in arts and culture. Video produced by Lydia Rogers. Editing by Michael Johnson. Music presented by Eagle and Hawk. www.eagleandhawk.com Support this and other great podcast content at our Patreon page, www.patreon.com forward slash artways.